bro. Yep. All right, what's going on with you guys? So, seven days out today officially. So, peak week officially began. Um, we're going to Kroger right now. Got to get some groceries. Nothing different than I've been eating the previous 16, 15, 16 weeks. Um, just going to show you guys what that is. We're really just eating smaller proportions. Uh, a little bit lower on energy today. Um, I'm actually a couple meals behind. Uh, we're just gonna get in here. You guys know um, it's the pretty, pretty basic chicken, rice, ground beef. There's some other things though. Um, and then a little bit later on in the video, we'll kind of get into the plan for how Peak Week's gonna be ran, the variables that are at play. But uh, really, right now, all I can think about is food, 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 food. I'm gonna get in here, do my thing, get home, cook it, and try to feel like a person again man so uh let's get in here and do this i actually didn't fuck up this time and i wrote a grocery list down i got this nasty habit of getting to the grocery store always be on a time crunch and then i'm just like it never fails i get back to the crib forgot like three things be livid and sometimes this is the thing that i need to make the meal that i immediately have to eat so it's just it's never a good situation <laughs> The main protein source has never switched throughout this entire prep. We never fucked with the fish. It's literally just chicken and ground beef. So I'm definitely sticking with the chicken titty. Cannot have the thighs. You would, it would blow your mind. Just like saw a comparison of how much more fat is in a chicken thigh compared to a chicken breast. During the off season, I gave myself a little bit of that leniency of eating chicken thighs, and uh, I'm not gonna lie, I packed them pounds fast. Yeah, the same thing here. In so we got 96.4, 98. Four and a half grams of fat in the 96.4 per serving. Nine grams of fat for the same amount. That is insane. That like that's double the fat. You gotta hold it up like a big ass bag. <laughs> I really need the 50 pound hook. Have you heard of those 50 pound bags? Uh -uh. I need one. I mean, I go through like that would be so much more just like financially efficient because I mean, your boy go through probably. Uh, maybe like a bag of rice every like week and a half. I don't know. That could be real cat. But uh, I just walked walk past the tortillas, and it's kind of like a sad moment. I don't say tortillas, it's tortillas. But it's kind of a sad moment because that was like the thing in my final meal that I look forward to every night. And like I was telling Mariah today, I don't have cravings. I'm not craving sweets. I'm not craving brownies. I'm not craving pizza. I'm craving my meals, my chicken and rice with my tortillas and the sauces that I want to fucking eat. And that's clean, because it was not that case last year. Alex had me on asparagus and broccoli at the beginning of prep and kind of throughout the off season. That asparagus shit had to go, that shit is nasty. You gotta know how to cook it right, and like, I don't know how to cook it right, so broccoli it is. And even sometimes that, I get tired of. Sometimes it makes me flutter, <laughs> but it's like, so much better than asparagus. But I'm definitely kind of looking forward to, in the off season, like, experiment with different vegetables and just like, just different sources of you know, fiber. So that's kind of really all the broccoli is for. If y'all don't, I'm making sure it doesn't have sodium in it because uh, starting Monday I can't have sodium. But if y'all don't know about this cinnamon toast crunch, what they call it, cinna dust, oh my god. I put it in my protein smoothies, but the most important thing is I put it in my oats. Like it makes it a completely different meal. It makes it taste like a like a sweet for real. So if you're looking for like an alternative to 
cravings and shit out of the way if you have a sweet tooth. This right here. And then my boy showed me this the other day. I haven't tried it. I should be damn near finna snag it though. Twix season. I just gotta make sure there's no sodium or else it kinda be a waste. It don't look like it do. Shit. I guess we're eating good this prep. Last last time around, man, I didn't I didn't put a damn thing on nothing, even if it didn't have sodium. Alright, this, like, what are you, are you really cooking if you don't have this in the pantry? Um, I mean, I put this shit on everything, dog. But, of course, you know, this is going to kind of be out of the equation. This is really for Mariah and for the, I think, two more days that I can have sodium. And like I said, it's out. And I'll get more into that, why we're cutting sodium, how it'll affect my physique a little bit later in the video. But this is the main seasoning I'm going to be using. Um, during peak week just to have not feel like I'm eating rubber. This doesn't have any sodium in it um, And Southwest Chipotle my boy Crosby put me onto this heat, bro, heat. And then this is the last thing I'm picking up today, of course, there's other shit like bananas um, so I guess that's really the only thing I haven't gotten but uh, you know have these every morning I'll redo this, run this video back in the off season when we can get much more like uh, a variety and shit. But simple, very effective, allows me to push my physique to where it needs to be. And hey man, I am gonna go home and eat the fucking food that I need to eat, man, because I am starving. Like I said, I'm two meals behind. And uh, next clip, we'll get into you know how we're gonna attack peak week, why we're adjusting and um, manipulating what we are. Yeah, see y'all then. I'm just buying this shit. What's up? What's good? I hope you have a good night. Having a good night? I hope that you have a good night. Oh yeah. Thank you, I appreciate it. You too. Because mm -hmm. I threw this shit in there. I couldn't even hear it. Hey, one thing though, eating like this is, is not. It's cheap. Chicken, bro, ground, no, ground beef. Like, this is like seven dollars a thing. Do I look crazy as shit wearing what I'm wearing, bro? Wearing a hoodie and sweatpants? Yeah, bro. A little bit. Thank you. This is 90 <laughs> degrees. It's not, bro, it's not even 90 degrees. It's 100 degrees. It's been 100 for like a week. I don't know. Like, this just felt right leaving the crib today. I think it was kind of like, because my hair was fucked up, too fucked up to not wear a hat. Yeah. And then, like, the sweats and the sweatshirt kind of just followed. And that is a wrap on our little uh, grocery extravaganza. Next clip, we'll talk about, go over uh, Peak Week plan, how we're gonna attack that, and bring our best physique come seven days from now. All right guys, so as promised, I wanted to kind of conclude this video with going over the Peak Week plan. So it's Saturday, I got the uh, bits and pieces of the pig. I got bits and pieces of the peak week plan on Thursday um, So I guess we'll just start off with water. So water consumption right now is at two gallons um, Tomorrow, which is Sunday, it'll be at a gallon and a half and then from there we'll just taper down throughout the week uh, The idea for that is you know, we're, we're loading water right now That's why I'm at two gallons opposed to the one that I've been at you know, all the way up until this point in prep We want to fill the muscle up with water a full muscle is a big muscle, which is also a round muscle on stage. Um, and then, you know, it's going to kind of hold in there a little bit longer when we go into this depleting process. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I believe we're only at three-fourths of a gallon. So that's definitely going to be an adjustment, especially coming from the two gallons that we're at now. Show day, we're just sipping water with meals. It'll be barely anything. We are really wanting to create that dry look. So... Um, we want the skin to look as thin as possible. And that's kind of where sodium comes into play. Sodium and water definitely um, kind of, uh, what's the word I want to say, interact with each other when we're trying to use those two variables uh, to create the dry look that I just talked about. So, um, on starting Monday, we're going no sodium. Sodium is, res 
responsible for holding water under your skin. So if you hear people talk about, man, he's a lot, holding a lot of subcutaneous water, it's under your skin and it kind of just doesn't allow you to look your leanness. It doesn't allow you to look as grainy as you could. So with that, and this is, this is like a common misconception, we want water a little bit higher um, the days that we don't have sodium leading up to the show to actually help flush the excess water out um, between the skin. If we have no water and no sodium, then you know your body is kind of primed to hold on to that water, you know, because it's like, damn, we're really in a drought. So we're trying to push it out. So you're gonna be peeing a lot. You're gonna be excreting that excess fluid. Um, and yeah, so there's sodium. Sodium is pretty much zero, so there's no seasons, no sauces that contain salt um, until either we're, you know, until probably the night of the show and then a little bit of sodium on the day of the show. It takes, uh, you know, I would say probably a 12 to 24 hour period of, you know, consuming sodium and not consuming sodium to start to see those effects kind of take place. Um, and then I guess that kind of leads me into carbs. So carbs right now, they are lower than they have been all prep. Uh, I want to say we are right around 200, maybe a little bit below. And they're going to stay low uh, for, you know, maybe the next couple days. And then starting Monday is when we do uh, morning check-ins every day. They, they're going from weekly to day by day and with that Alex is basically just gonna kind of go on the fly of how my body's looking if you know I am extremely flat we'll start the carb loading process a little bit earlier um, knowing him he's kind of uh, reserved or conservative in that approach so um, I wouldn't be surprised if we don't start throwing carbs in you know a lot of carbs to really fill me out maybe the day before the show so that's kind of what it was last year definitely felt like I could have been more full on stage but I mean I brought it a gnarly package so you know that's um, just something to kind of you know consider uh, but yeah guys so you know with water sodium and carb manipulation you can really push an athlete's physique to look their best on stage um, I will say having no sodium for a few days you get dizzy it definitely messes with your electrolyte levels um, so it's like you're weak you're dizzy last year you've heard me talk about it last year i actually had to go home from work one day because i mean i really was depleted i was far less calories i'm at now um and you know just being that depleted not having sodium it's not a fun combination i won't lie that's why sometimes they call peak week hell week um another i'm just thinking of bits and pieces of information at this point another like really solid plus for having a water loading phase where you're drinking two gallons a gallon and a half um, when your calories are this low during peak week as you would be surprised how much more full in your stomach you feel from not or from having from having that excess water it really does kind of fill a void there um, but I think that's everything there might be something that you know I didn't go into as deeply as I could have but that's all that's coming to my mind right now being six days out having cotton in mouth being hungry and tired so forgive me if i missed anything we are on our way to hit this chest and back session which you guys will be seeing in the next video but, uh, that is a wrap and a summary on the peak week protocol hey, man, as always we'll continue to kill it bring that best physique come next friday six days from now